Hello guys, hope you have been having a very lovely day. In this video, we will find out how to uh, know the normal form of a matrix when we are given a question and hence obtain its rank. See, it is really easy to obtain the rank of a matrix once we find out its normal form. So uh, now let us see what the normal form of a matrix is and how to find out its rank from a normal form. So normal form is nothing but the matrix in just its native 1, 0 form because every row must have just a single 1 and the rest all should be zeros. That is a normal form. It can have totally, it can have all zeros. A single row can have all zeros but can have just a maximum of a single 1. So this combination of 1s and zeros is what you call normal form of matrix. So, to help you understand better, I have picked this question, um, this matrix, so this here it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 1, 4, 3, 3, 0, 5, and minus 10. So, this is my matrix. To obtain the normal form, the first thing I'm going to do is make zeros in the first column so the first element of the first column is 1 the second element is 2 and the third element is 3 so if I perform column operations if I sorry if I perform row operations like if I perform these row operations that is R2 is R2 minus 2 R1 R2 is R2 minus 2 R1 and R1 is sorry R3 is R3 minus 3 R1 so if I'm performing these two operations the first elements of the rows 2 and 3 will become 0 so let us do it what is what are these operations going to do to this matrix so I'm going to get on performing these operations I'm going to get 1 2 3 4 0 minus 3 minus 2 and minus 5 0 minus 6 minus 4 and minus 22 so on performing these operations I've got this specific change in this matrix so the next thing I want to do is uh, because I have obtained zeros in the first column, so the first column is all good. I have to obtain zeros in the in other places also. So before that, I'm going to do um, a simple division. Because uh, the, as you notice, the third column, the third row, sorry, the third row, zero minus six, four minus four, and minus twenty-two. It is uh, the GCD is two. So I'm going to divide the entire column with 2. So R3 is replaced with R3 by 2. Uh, let me do minus 2 so that the uh, results will be positive. So if I'm doing a minus 2, this is what I'm going to get. I'm going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, minus 3, minus 2, minus 5, 0, 3, 2 and 11 so this is what has happened see 1 2 3 4 because this is minus 6 minus 4 minus 22 and that has become 0 3 and 11 because I have divided with minus 2 so this is the transformation I have done now the next thing I'm going to do is add R2 and R3 because there is a minus 3 and there is a plus 3 there is a minus 2 and there is a plus 2 so what do you get this minus 3 and this plus 3 will get 0 if I'm adding it and this minus 2 and 2 will get 0 if I'm adding them so I'm going to add I'm going to do R3 is replaced with R3 plus R2 R3 plus R2 so what am I gonna get I'm gonna get 1 2 3 4 0 minus 3 minus 2 minus 5 remember r2 remains the same so 0 0 0 and 6 so minus 5 11 
you're you what are you doing you're adding it so 11 minus 5 is 6 minus 3 plus 3 is 0 and minus 2 plus 2 is 0 so this is however 6 so I have performed R3 is replaced with R3 plus R2 so this matrix is what I get so now look at it look at it if you see what what do you think uh, like uh, the first thing you are gonna do is um, because there is a 2 here there is a 3 here there is a 4 here so the best thing to do is do a column operation do a column operation like c2 is replaced with c2 minus 2 c1 what is gonna happen this is 2 and this is 1 2 minus 2 into 1 2 minus 2 into 1 is 0 this is gonna become 0 because there are zeros these two elements will have no effect these elements will have no effect but this will become zero if I'm performing this column if I'm performing this column operation so now c3 in the same way is replaced with c3 minus 3 c1 what is it gonna happen so these two are zero so these two elements will have absolutely no effect but however 1 into 3 is 3 and 3 minus 3 and this element becomes zero these two elements will remain the same because these two are still zero so what I, so this is the next operation and i'm gonna do another operation in the same thing i'm gonna do c4 is replaced with c4 minus 4 c1 what are we gonna get this 4 minus 4 becomes zero F minus 5 and 6 will remain the same because these two elements are zero right so the whole matrix is gonna remain the same except that 2, 3 and 4 are gonna become 0. So I'm gonna write it like so on performing these these column operations what are we gonna get? We're gonna get 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, minus 3, minus 2, minus 5, 0, 0, 0 and 6. So this is the matrix I have got. So now think, now think what uh, by doing what we are going to change, we are going to make a change so that um, these two things will become zero. Think. You have this element, you have minus three. So if you are doing another two, two more column operations, if you're doing two more column operations, the problem is going to be solved, all solved. So, I'm going to do 3C3 minus 2C2. So, C3 is being replaced with 3C3 minus 3C2. What is that going to happen? See, 3 into C3 is minus 2. 3 into minus 2 is minus 6. And minus 2c2, that is minus 3 into minus 2, is plus 6. So 6 into 6 is going to give you a 0. So, will that, will that become, will the 2 become, minus 2 become 0? Yes, it will. So this is how I'm gonna, this row of, this column operation is gonna get me a 0 there. So now, this one, in the same way, if I'm performing, c4 is replaced with 3c4 minus 5c2 if I'm doing this operation it's gonna leave me a zero there it's gonna leave me a zero there so I'm gonna rewrite this matrix now so I have 1 0 0 0 0 minus 3 0 0 0 0 0 6 look at it now 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 look at it we have just one single number in each row so so what are we gonna do I'm gonna divide c2 with c2 by minus 3 that is gonna give me a 1 right and I'm also going to uh, divide c4 c4 I'm dividing it c4 by 6 so 6 by 6 will be a 1 and minus 3 by minus 3 will be a 1 so rewriting it we get 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 and 0 0 0 1 
So this is a matrix in which there is just a single one in each row. But as the convention is, you have to interchange C3 and C4 so that all these ones will be closed. Okay, so C3 is interchanged with C4. So the final matrix is 1000010000010. So, there we are. This is the normal form of the matrix A, the initial parent matrix which we had taken. So now, how many non-zero rows are there? 1, 2, 3. There are 3 non-zero rows. So the rank of the matrix is 3. So this is how you find out the normal form of a matrix and hence its rank. If you would like, I'll go through a brief rush up of the steps. This is the parent matrix A. We have done these row operations to, we have done several row operations to get back to the normal form. And finally, the number of non-zero rows will give you the rank of the matrix. Thank you, have a lovely day. If you have an exam tomorrow, all the very best and hope this video has helped you. Thank you.